greed. Maybe the thing that kills us all. The Dutton family have a deep emotional commitment to this world of ranching. What you haven't had is an education about this way of life. You will be free in a way that most people can barely conceive. This family is really devoted to the preservation of their ranch and is not ready to pass on that obligation or authority to anybody else. I have what my family fought for. You want to fight me for it too? The Duttons are just trying to preserve their way of life and doing whatever it takes to do that. But there's a little rough justice involved here. <laughs> Working on this ranch, it's fight for your life. But things are rapidly changing for the rest of the world. Modernism starts encroaching on the way things have always been done. Some of the Duttons will embrace the progress, and other ones will hold back because it scares them. Along with so-called civilization comes the idea of order. Modern technology of the 1920s is crashing down on this cowboy mentality. It's this collision of this old way of life meeting this new way of life, which everyone says is progress, but inevitably, we always leave people behind. This is the future. Every home in New York City has electricity. We buy all this stuff. We're not working for ourselves anymore. We're working for you. Washing machine seems like a good idea, I must admit. It is the future, ma'am. Progress goes hand in hand with exploitation of the Mother Earth. Insofar as Whitfield thrives on power, he will want what they have. Where in Montana has the most gold, the most silver, the most coal? The Yellowstone. That's where the corruption comes in, because that power and that money is going beyond justice. There's corruption everywhere, but the Dutton family, they're willing to fight corruption or stand up for what they believe is right. Look at every tree that stands, and this paradise becomes another concrete desert. It's not justice, it's preservation.